I had to get me a new bitch to hold the pain. We was in Hawaii looking at the rain. We have such amazing teams here. Dick Guitars, Cloud9, and Titan. And it looks like the countdown has finished. We should be getting into the pistol round now, ladies and gentlemen. Get hype. This is it. First seed for Group D at stake between two of the very best teams in the world here at Gamescom. Damage. And now Cloud9 rushing into the bomb site. Sipnix with an opening headshot. Semphis takes down one, but he's quickly disposed of by AC. That USPS Dupree comes out in time for the backup here. And it's Sean Gares and Shroud left. And they're not really making it work either. Sean Gares dropped in the end by Dupree. Bit of a fight, but it's going to fall back. And oh, what? Hiko and nothing coming up with kills now. He's going to look from balcony and even lives until AC can track him down. Sipnix picks up one, but it's nothing now who strikes back. But they are both there. They both face. And Cloud9. So otherwise, they're going to be ecoing again. AC moving up in the right spot. Hiko goes down now, a one on one, as nothing has made his way onto the slope towards that CT spawn. And AC does not have a kit. He's got the triple kill. He's going to go for the quad. Nothing is going to peek and take him down. Pit up and change. Uh, the outcome of the next couple of rounds in the middle just charging in not really prepared for this AWP and Dupree in the middle who does go down but the device picks it up takes down Semphis that bomb but the problem is that AC what? has Oh my god, that 180 from George. And it's going to be down to AC now, who throws the molly in. That's going to roast and toast him. But AC, great position. Three frags go his way. Right, it takes a crazy shot like that from Hiko, basically, to get a frag in that sort of situation. So Team Dignitas, once again, displaying their, their skill on CT side. Four rounds on the board. Soon to be five here. Device will get overwhelmed. Going to go down, I think, unless Shroud can really sneak up the way. But now he's trapped in that corner. He's going to delay the plant, and he's going to go down for, because of it. There's no luck there, but Shroud strikes back and gets the Headshot. Yeah, and now they have to go for this A bomb site. Quick Dupree and AC will pick up a couple of kills and nothing will take down Dupree. Device inside, not gonna surrender, and nothing goes down. A great double kill from Device at the moment, and that's obviously important. Device gonna open up with two kills right through this. Actually, 10 5 for the first half after winning five rounds in a row in a really cool fashion. Cloud9. It's on Cloud9, actually, and they're all gonna be coming in if they land this. Grenades right now. Dignitas charging the bomb site with their Glocks. Sean with the kill. Sipnix with the return. Shroud will pick up a headshot onto him, but any goes down to Dupree. Yeah, but Fetish is now in CT spawn. Device picks up the one kill. Semphis will pick up another one here, but there's no kid, as we said in the beginning of the round. And Fetish, I don't think Semphis is going to realize where he's coming from. He's looking the wrong way. And Fetish will finish. That frag over on the B side. He's got the bomb right now. So Cloud9, we already see them rotating through. There's the scout. Saw Gares, three frags. It's down to AC and Fetish. Two on two here, and now it's going to be a one on two. AC solo on health, and it's going to be Hiko trying to see if he can seal this. He's got 12 bullets. AC coming out with the Galil. So low on health, both players, and Hiko is going to... They know how to run them, but Sean Gares is going to shut down Sipnix to start. Sean Gares alive in shadow. Semphis now lending a hand. Device tries to sneak his way out on the balcony. Gets one, gets two. Device still alive. Looking for the third, but it's not meant to be. Dupree is alone, and Hiko finds right off the bat. I mean, they're putting shots through. Nothing is actually going to go for the spray. Do Mac, pretty good damage. But now Dignitas, they have to commit, and they've spotted Sean Gares with the Scar 20. Yeah, really good damage done here from Dignitas with the pistol roll, the eco round, and it's going to be a two-on-one with Fetish left. Not uh, really any kind of rifle on him, but this is really impressive. Can they do more? Sipnix has now been spotted as well. They know exactly where he is. He's going to fall down. Those smokes are really working out for Dignitas. Sipnix moving in, and the bomb is very, very close now. They've got to put it on here. Cloud9 moving faster, but Sipnix is going to pick up the kill. Semphis turning around, and I'm not sure there's enough time here. There is not enough time. Semphis is alive, but just barely. He's on life support. 9 HP gets the frag, but is not going to have enough time. Put some pressure here. Uh, Cloud9, I mean, it comes down to Semphis, really. He's got to get the information, and there you go. Already picking up one, but he gets naded into oblivion. It's Hiko now on short, picks up one. He goes for Zipnix as well, takes him out, and now it's a commanding lead for Cloud9. They just need to hold. Hiko needs to stay alive, but AC, relentless in his pursuit, hunts him down, and we're into a two on three. Can they get it happening? Nothing is going to be moving. to get taken down now. AC with a headshot. Oh, my God. God, device picks off Sean Gares in that kitchen. Sean on the other side, C set 75 in hand. They're going to come through the smoke with the flashes as well, and that works out just perfectly as Shroud and Sean end up going down. Out. Seeing if they can get a kill, but Cloud9 now, they have to focus on the next round. This is it. Do or die time here. Oh, flashes. Dupree, this position right here, he's about to get flashed right through. Nothing sees it coming. Get some spray. This is a slaughter! Four frags! 
Sempris nothing gets two and nothing casually walks back and gets a third. Cloud nine. It couldn't have gone better. He's in shadows here. And he needs some backup pretty quickly. Sempris is on the crossfire. They do pick up the first one. Sean now with a triple kill. And Fetish is going to be alone in a one on three. What a great defense from Sean Gaz. Now they just have to hold tight. There's only 15 seconds. They can just wait and Fetish will have no chance. He's got to get the bomb. He's got the angle to go for the plant as well. Cloud9 can't punish this. The likely spots. Goes for a shot. Under pressure. Fetish looking for it. But Sempis through the edge of the box. Individual play right now from Cloud9. An individual play. Sean Gares in a position where he should never have gotten three frags, but he still makes it happen. It's just brutal right now. And the mop up is complete. Cloud9 just sweep. And what is it going to come down to? 45 seconds. And I think, they think this could be a really elaborate fake coming out from Dignitas House where they try and convince Cloud9 there's going to be an A push. They have all the smokes here. These are all the signals that indicate it's going to be an A push. But the bonus at B, they kill Semphis as well. This is a great start for Dignitas. But the clock is running low as well. Sean going to pick up one. Goes for the second. Can't pick it up. Fetish will get the return frag. And now they're moving in B and there's nobody there. Cloud9 aboard it. Hook, line and sinker. And it's going to be Sipnix with the kill here on Semphis. Turns around, gets down by Shroud. It's it's a two on three, but now they realize there's something horribly wrong with this. Yeah, Hiko knows. Hiko knows. He's on the hunt right now. He's going to find the angle as well. Gets for the first frag. Brings it back to a two on two. And he needs to play patient now. He needs to play patient and wait for his mate to get in here and turn this into that angle. And there you go. Hiko finds the shot on device. He's now defusing the bomb. Fetish gets spotted. And Cloud9, despite Dignitas's best efforts, they pull off the retake. But they are going to get control of this A side, Digni Team Dignitas. They've got the smokes down to cut Cloud9 off. And in fact, they're going for huge plays. Dupree! Triple spray runs through the smoke in the CPL. And that shatters the defense. Cloud9 in a two on four. That bomb plant's already been happening for quite a while here. So Hiko and Sean, that's a good kill from Hiko, but they realize Dupree's still in there somewhere. They're going to try and go for it here. They want to go all in. Hiko comes in with another kill and back to a two on two. That bomb so far ticked. They got to move quick right now. They're going for it. The defuse is already happening. Hiko, are you kidding me? He's going to go for it. They win the round. Hiko picks up a triple and Cloud9 win it once. Unreal. And now Cloud9 are on the brink. Dignitas, can they do it? So Gears is just racking up frags. Nothing's got a pot roast. He's hungry. And Fetish is now alive in a 1v5. It has crumbled. Dignitas, what has happened? That round from Hiko. I don't know what to say. Fetish is going to be in a one on five. And this is the end for Dignitas. They're going to have to play against Titan here. 16 14. The utter comeback. Complete resurrection from Cloud9. They have redeemed themselves once again. Their last North American home here at Gamescom, and they actually make it happen. That last move from Hiko, the movement and the shots is what? Dance Incredible! Like a, dance like a butterfly, sting like a tomahawk missile, basically. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the golf clap. No better opportunity and Dignitas looks shattered. I mean, they have to be. After that, they knew how far ahead they were. They knew they had everything going for them in that second half. And Cloud9 doing it again.